Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. We rolled up to the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards tonight, but we came to the most devastating of news. Kobe Bryant passed away at age 41 along with his daughter, just 13 years old, in a helicopter crash along with a number of other passengers. The only way to make sense of this is to honor his life and legacy here on the carpet. Uh, we're also honoring Nipsey Hussle with a tribute later on at the awards show. So that being said, we chopped it up with a few artists, talked about the Grammys this year as well as those two legends. Um, yeah, I'm walking the carpet. I'm really excited to be here celebrating Nipsey, but at the same time now it's a bit somber because of the loss of um, Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi, but um, you know, just trying to stay in positive spirits and celebrate Nip, and I know they're working on a tribute outside for Kobe, so that'll be great too. What are they putting together outside? Um, it's a whole bunch of flowers and things happening right now, so I'm assuming it's just the community coming together, and I just can't go. Out. I can't wait to go outside, back outside. I know, girl, and I'm fighting back tears too talking about this. Obviously, this has changed the entire uh, dynamic of the carpet, but let's talk about Nipsey and just you know the impact that he's left on you, what he has taught you in your career and your life, and what you hope that the tribute does for him tonight. Um, I'm at a place where it's just like at times you feel like you want to give up and Nipsey is that driving force to continue to keep going and I'm just excited that you know the world is getting to understand um, what he was trying to do and and it's just his legacy is continuing to keep that alive. Now I don't want to put you through too many emotions but can you also talk about Kobe and how he's touched your life? Um, the last time I actually got to work with him was for the Trayvon Martin campaign with Nipsey as well and they did a walk in at Crenshaw High School they talked in the back and he understood the importance of his community and it was just great to see both of them together this is unfortunately like a big loss for our community he was a goat i just want to send my condolences out to his wife his the rest of his kids i'm sorry that happened to his daughter even her, her teammates and who they else was on the plane i'm just it's just terrible it's terrible um he uh, the mama he, yeah, the mama mentality. <laughs> the mama mentality he, self improvement. You know what I'm saying? Dedication to make yourself better in every way possible. You know, and stop, that that's what Kobe has brought to us. You know. Yeah, like you said, don't stop chipping away at yourself. Don't stop sharpening. Just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Even if you're not where you see yourself yet, just keep doing. It. That's all the more reason. And the fact that he never stopped. And the fact that he was so dedicated to being such a great person, that's, that's gonna carry with me for forever. Another LA legend we're honoring tonight, Nipsey Hussle with the tribute. Um, what do you guys hope to see from that performance and how it embodies the legacy that Nipsey has left behind? Oh, I mean, love. That's what we want to see. We want to see love in here right now, especially what you said, what's going on with it. And so we, we want to bring that into a, in, into the light. You know, it's, it's it's a somber mood, but we can reset that. You know, ain't nothing with that. We can reset that. So. Yeah, shout out to Nipsey. I just want to say thank you, Nipsey, for everything you've done for hip hop and for just entrepreneurialism as, as for in our culture. Just thank you for everything, man. Man, Nipsey was my homie. Uh, I've known Nipsey for a long time, and he always showed me love. That's one thing about Nipsey. He was never, he never acted different. He wasn't fake. He was a real person, you know what I'm saying? And that happening, like, that sucked the air out of a lot of people. But, you know, legends never die, and he gonna live with us forever. And another person we're remembering, of course, Kobe Bryant and his daughter. Come on, Kobe. Yes. Mama mentality, like I told them down there before, that's one of the things that got me here, like, strive go harder harder every time and it's gonna get you where you want to go and that's why we're here being here at the staples center does that hit a little bit harder um and how did kobe impact your life in any way um you know that it don't matter where you at man that that hurts kobe bryant is kobe bryant you know you know he's a, he a black superhero man that's the only way to describe him and uh it's just a tragedy man it's just tragic like, it's just rest in peace to his daughter. Like, it's just tragic, man. And of course, you had a close relationship with the late Juice World. What do you think he's thinking about seeing you here on the red carpet tonight? He'll be like, hey, man, you look clean as hell fo on phone now. <laughs> I miss my nigga, man. Last time I seen Kobe was at the um, Diddy 50 party. He was actually one section down from me, and everybody was just having a good time at celebrating Diddy 50. is like, you know, they're just sad news. It's, it's unbelievable. You can't even, I don't even know words that can describe it. Well, first we want to give our condolences to Kobe, his wife, that's who it's going out to, his daughters, and, and you know, we're very conflicted. So 
If I miss a few words, you know, I apologize now. Well, of course, we're talking about the sad news of Kobe, but we're also honoring Nipsey Hussle during the tribute tonight. Did he inspire you in any way? He always gave back to his community. Did he inspire you in any way, especially now with this new venture? Nipsey is a leader. You know, Nipsey represents a tribe, right? He represents the ideology of ownership. Like, so you have to be from the very gate, understand your power. So he tried to make the youth understand their power, like early, like, look, why don't you own this? You actually can, like, why give up your rights for this? You really don't have to do that. So I think for us, you know, he's one of the greatest leaders that ever lived.